poem. So please bear with me. For those of you who don't know me, I am also a slam poet. So I do um, competition poetry. So, um, <laughs> and yes, currently I am one, <laughs> I am one fifth of Burbenders. Burbenders is your adult slam team that represents Hampton Roads in um, competition. Uh, we competed last uh, this year, in, uh, earlier this summer, and we ended up in sixth place out of 32 um, teams for our region. So we are very proud of that. Um, so this is, I've never done this poem before. Um, it's a little emotional and you'll, you'll hear why. So bear with me. <laughs> there is nothing our children can do or say that can make us love them any less or not hurt if they hurt. As I say these words, I can't help but to hear my mother's words when she used to say, you will understand this one day. When you become a mom, you learn to breathe for more than yourself. You understand the reasons why your organs won't give up, why your heart learns to pump love, why your body's adrenaline tricks you into I'm not really tired. I have one more thing that needs to get done. You become Wonder Woman strong with enough strength to fight it all until your children go out and face the world and you can't protect them. You realize you're not so super after all. Glass can take heat, become soft, be molded into something else and still be glass like love, a mother's love, forever evolving as her child grows. Mine was literally shattered into a thousand pieces as it was dropped from the stage when my child decided to exchange my fragile heart for a perfect score of all tens when she decided to tell me in a slam poem that she was raped. In no way am I minimizing her pain. She gave herself time to be able to heal and talk about how the trauma changed her. But it never crossed her mind how I was not here, ready to hear in front of the world. How under my watch, I failed to protect her. How I was not there to shield her body as he forcefully pushed his against hers. Leaving nothing sacred under her space, violating her temple and turning every no into a yes. How he made her swallow more than her pain so that he could get off on her. He took my baby's dreams and made nightmares out of them. He became her boogeyman and I was not there to scare him away. He made her doubt herself and the love of everyone around her, making her believe that she was in this by herself then again. I don't know what hurts more, not being there when it happened or that after he did, she refused to let me in. How she could really believe that I could blame her for the actions of a pathetic excuse of a human being. How I didn't get a chance to make him pay, to instill fear with my presence like the one she feels when you mention his name, to show him that she is not alone, that if he ever comes near my girl again, I will make him wish he had jerked off. I wish you understood this didn't just happen to her. I can't help to wonder where did I go wrong? That in, her moment of, that, of, that in her moment of darkness, she couldn't see my light is always on. But then again, there is nothing she can say that can make me love her any less or not hurt when she hurts. That's the thing about a mother's love. It can take all the heat in the world, become soft, be molded into something else, and sometimes even break. And at the end of the day, it is still love. I hope one day she too could understand where all this is coming from. Because pain like this should never be cried into a poem.